that a dog? Coin Ops back at it again with even more games and beautiful themes. You know, is this the ultimate front end for your PC? I don't know. More so for an arcade cabinet, I would say. But man, is this thing beautiful. Let's check out some of these new features. They've been listening. They've been making it better. I, You know, at this point, you can almost customize this thing to do anything at this point. So everyone should be happy. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it. In the past, it was kind of like um, really clean. Uh, you get the retro arcade uh, if you want, you know, just very bare bones arcade setup, nothing, no, none of these 1,000 game collections. But now with this, you can have those 1,000, 2,000 game collections running this slick little uh, thing here. Now, as you see, I'm in all arcades right now. You can see it because it's in the lower left corner. There's 605 games total. You can see that in the lower right hand corner as well. And if I move up or down, though, I'll move through those categories. Remember, we're on the, I want to say, are we on the light version right now? I already forgot what <laughs> I think. Yeah, it looks like light. So as you see, consoles is just one whole category. And I accidentally pressed it twice. So Aladdin loaded. But hey, there it works. You got the bezels. Um, and so here you go. We got Sega Genesis Aladdin. You got Nintendo Aladdin. You've got Nintendo. You've got Sega Genesis. You see the games. So now I can't remember now. It's been so long since I played re the retro arcade pack i don't know if all the consoles had their own arcade cabinet because look at this artwork on the consoles each console has their own dedicated uh artwork that's so cool that's really cool i mean this in it you know part of going to an arcade is that that smell right when you go in it's the dimness of the lights a lot of time it's it's you know the the seeing all the lit up marquees and it's like a kid in a candy store it's like you know there's just so much anticipation right and then you insert your tokens and then you play so to me the coin ops if i was to play this for somebody who's not who's maybe grew up with retro games but didn't know about this whole emulation scene and you know these builds i think they would be blown away it would rock their socks off no doubt in my mind so uh this is really cool even some nintendo 64 games so let's go back or i'm gonna go up and then you got you know like i said arcade all of them you get 604 arcade games so um arcade classics you got 179 arcade old school you got 182 beat em ups you got 90 run and gun you got 112 fight club you got 86 those are all your street fighters things like that and then shoot em ups you got 135 console games we only got 57 um i just launched toe jam and earl or as i was talking we kind of went through a lot of these games so start select exits a game so i went in and then it exited pretty quick i'm just going to go through some more of these games and um there's a couple psp games a lot of these console games are on uh the previous builds like i'm not seeing a lot of new games on here um but uh, i think we actually did go through all the games now at this point um so about 57 total there the whole file size of this whole build i think it's like when you extract it i want to say it's like right around 50 or 60 gigabytes so and then you you could download it obviously uh it's raw it up you have to unzip it or unraw it and um it's uh it, it works for me off the boot there might be some if this is the first time you're installing any kind of emulation on your computer there might be a few files you need to install there's a little folder that says install these first if not working and you could do those um let's talk about system requirements let's try a different theme too so let's go ahead and uh, exit uh, the whole system you can exit with start and select as well let's go ahead and try the uh, arcades packed while i talk a little bit about um so here's the marquee. This is pretty cool too. Now let's see what the next theme is like. Interesting. So this kind of adds like another, it's like a nested system here, right? Where you can go between the three modes here on my left. And then that changes the modes on the right, on the bottom. But then you still have your themes when you go into a particular genre. You still get whatever theme you're on. Right now I'm on the marquee theme, right? So wow that's just a ton of uh customization it's really cool actually for from an arcade perspective because you're going to be able to do all this from if you're running like a you know a, a joystick you know it's so hard to hook a mouse and keyboard up and configure all this so once you get it you can you know navigate everything from an arcade stick which is cool 
So as far as some of the major differences here, you can see this one right here that I'm moving around. Let's zoom in a lot. This is the themes you're going to get with Retro Arcade Elites 2. And this is the one we're going to get with the Retro Arcade, the non-elite elite version, right? So you'll notice that when we line these up, uh, you know, there's certain themes that aren't included, like the vid theme video and full cabinet are not included. So it looks like there's about two difference. If we line these up, yeah, it's missing two themes. Um, also, just many different things. The advanced configs are going to be different. Like, look how many you know new stuff they have going on. This is cool that you can change the um, you can change the script uh, from here. Like, just if I double click this, I like cascading, right? So I want to go ahead and say theme cascading wall. Run that file. I already ran it. Like that's how fast it goes. And next time I load coin ops over here, depending on which one I want of these nine, let me make these bigger for y'all. Of these nine, I should be on that theme. Restore your controls, but other advanced configs were like, you know, two screens, four, three aspect ratio, five, four aspect ratio. You know, the more I play around with it, the more I see it's really set up for somebody to have like the ultimate arcade. Uh, as much as they're implementing like the consoles and coin ops next to that stuff was already kind of done and now you can implement your consoles the arcade to me is just getting better and better with the different types of arcades the different controls and then just the easier finding of games and, and sorting of games and then more on the arcade is the different resolutions right some of you're going to have cocktails to cocktail cabinets some you're going to have you know dual marquee cabinets so it's really pretty cool. Like, uh, you know, a lot of you out there wanting to build the ultimate arcade and finding the right software for your arcade, like look no further. Jeez. So Brittany Pears and the coin ops team really stepping it up. And uh, let's talk about what these nine are really quick. Uh, as you see here, this is going to give you all arcades and consoles. And that's why it's a, it's a controller, right? So there's going to be consoles included. This one only shows Pac-Man because... Um, it's uh you know it's only arcade games no consoles included at all and then these three over here are um like lighter versions i don't know what their their theme of that is but it's the ghost coin ops now um and it's not even all the arcades right it's like it's like the best of the best arcades now um back to here you'll notice well there, then there's three of these with consoles and you'll notice here you got balanced light and packed that's the difference in the wording here. And I have had the sheet here for you that they provided. So Pact has five genres to choose from. And here you go, you got the all of your light games, all of your balance games, all of your arcade gunners, all of your arcade. So it really separates out from publisher to style of game. Um, all It's a lot, right? You're gonna have a ton of categories to go through, 35 categories, genres to go through. Now balanced, right, is, is going to shave that off quite a bit to 15. I'm liking this a little bit better, right? All your light plus all arcade racer, arcade puzzler, right? A lot easier to handle. And then you have your light. For those of you that don't mind scrolling a little bit more in each collection or each genre, you have, you know, this one right here, the light. So back to here, each of these, you know, three, the sets of three have the uh, packed, which is the biggest, the balance kind of a middle point, and then the light, kind of the lightest, cleanest version. So pretty cool. Um, and then here we go, the logo, Retro Arcade 2. Um, and to me, uh, now that they're adding in uh, the coin ops next, it's, you know, the Retro Arcade to me before was very much, um, let's go ahead and light, load the light version of the consoles. It, it was very much, um, and here's our cascading wall. Remember we ran that script. All right, so final thoughts to the uh, coin ops team over there. Freaking crazy. Like just when you think they're done, right? They've done everything you possibly could do. They, um, you know, they do they do more. And uh, like I said, I do the way I, you know, and I'm an idiot, so, you know, who knows? But the way I see it, if I'm building the ultimate arcade, um, Let's jump. Oh, there we go. Um, if I'm building the ultimate arcade, can I run? No. If I'm building the ultimate arcade um, and I want to build just a lot of stuff, right? I think that's where this is coming in to play. Is that you're going to be able to build, uh, you know, thousand games at a time. 
and be well organized at the same time, right? Um, bezels are beautiful, artwork is beautiful. And then the number one question, where can I find this? It's going to be on back of something. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you see it on our K-Punk soon. As far as you might be wondering, you know, what kind of minimum system requirements. CoinOps is very low. It just depends on what consoles or what games you're actually playing. The front end itself is very, very, requires very little processing and graphics power. And then as far as which one would you pick? You'd be like, oh, I'm on Retro Arcades 1. Should I go up to 2? Well, if you don't want those additional themes, the new artwork or the categories or the advanced options, then you might be fine not having to upgrade but you know some people upgrading is not a big deal some people it is so you know you just got to see which you want right what 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 capabilities you want and then start from there but uh this is the latest and the greatest as of now and uh, who knows there might be others but right now it's looking really cool like i said and uh that's what i think let me know you all think don't forget to like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one